Hello everyone, so in this video we are still in chapter 4.1 but I will teach you about exception to octet rule that means by the end of this video you should be able to explain the exception to octet rules such as incomplete octet, expanded octet and odd number electrons Exception to octet rule, there are three types of octet rule exception Okay, so we'll start with incomplete octet Okay, incomplete octet just for beryllium, boron, aluminium Okay, or how to remember it adalah by using verbal lah Okay, and then expanded octet Okay, this is exclusive for period 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 Okay, and lastly adalah odd electron molecule for odd number group such as nitrogen in group 15 and chlorine in group 17. Okay, so let us start with the first one and that is incomplete octet verbal. Okay, verbal here adalah macam cara untuk ingat lah. So, elemen yang incomplete octet ada tiga iaitu ber, beryllium. B besar tu adalah boron okay. AL ni adalah aluminium okay. Berbal Alright So incomplete octet occur when a central atom has less than 8 electron in its valence shell okay. So seperti nama dia Nama pun incomplete octet Octet tu maksudnya lah cukup 8 electron But incomplete octet that means less than 8 electron Dekat dia punya valence shell Okay, beryllium, boron and aluminium do not achieve octet configuration even after sharing electron with other atom. Okay, so lepas share electron pun, beryllium, boron, aluminium dia takkan form, uh, dia takkan dapat octet configuration tu. Okay, for example, uh, BeCl2 over here. Okay, so as you can see, uh, Cl tak ada masalah, the terminal atom tak ada masalah, is dia complete uh, octet. Okay, so cukup 8 electron around Cl Okay, but for beryllium as you can see there are only 2 bonds Okay, so 2 bonds that means only uh, 4 electron around beryllium Okay, so beryllium is surrounded by only 4 electron and not 8 Okay, so that's why beryllium adalah uh, incomplete octet lah Okay, the same goes for aluminium You can see over here there are 1, 2, 3 bonds only That means 6 electrons sahaja yang uh, around aluminium atom Okay, and then lastly for boron Okay, boron pun sama Dia hanya surrounded by 6 electron only Okay, so ini ada reason dia Kamu akan nampak lebih clear nantilah Bila kita dah belajar hybridization Okay, but for now just remember Beryllium, boron and aluminium Dia ha hanya boleh capai incomplete octet sahaja Okay, so that's mean when you draw your Lewis structure Macam kamu dapat uh, beryllium kamu Kamu dah ingat, eh hey, dua bond tak octet so you don't have to add double bond or triple bond Tak perlu tambah double bond or triple bond for beryllium, boron and aluminium Okay Kalau kamu tambah dia jadi salah Okay so next odd electron molecule Okay so odd electron molecule jarang kita jumpa Tapi adalah keadaan kadang-kadang ada odd electron molecule ni Okay so odd electron molecule have a central atom from an odd number group Okay such as nitrogen and chlorine Okay so in this case Okay syarat untuk odd electron molecule ni berlaku adalah Dia punya central atom dia mesti dari odd number group Okay odd, odd number ni maksudnya ganjil lah number ganjil Macam group 15, group 17 Okay, so dia bagilah contoh nitrogen dan klorin Okay, so example the first one adalah NO Nitrogen monoxide Okay, so bila dia draw Lewis structure for NO Dia dapat macam ni Okay, so as you can see Pelik lah untuk this electron selalu dia sepasang Okay, dia jadi lone pair But this one dia seorang-seorang tu So dia dipanggil odd electron molecule Okay, so uh, itu baru NO Okay, so to help you understand this topic better Okay, so kita draw Lewis structure for NO2 Untuk nampakkan dia punya pertama tu uh, Odd number electron tu Okay, so between uh, N dengan O Nitrogen will be the central atom lah Sebab N is less electronegative than oxygen Okay, so ini skeletal structure for NO2 Then kita kena buat pengiraan macam biasa Valence electron for nitrogen 5 Oxygen 6 valence electron But there are 2 oxygen So times 2 equal to 12 12 plus 5 is 17 Okay, so 17 we have to minus bonding electron Which is 4 
Okay sebab ada dua bond And then we are left with uh, 13 valence electron So we need to fill in the electron at the terminal atom to make it octet Okay so we have used up 12 electron to make the terminal atom octet So we are left with one electron and this one electron should be at the central atom lah Ok so kat sini pun kita dah boleh nampak Oh ada uh, Ada dah odd number electron tu Ok um, but then This one ada 2, 4, 5 Electron sahaja around nitrogen Kita kena bagi dia dekat Dengan octet lah but Dia takkan jadi octet tapi kita bagi dia dekat dengan octet That's mean we need to sacrifice This lone pair here Tak kisahlah mana-mana lone pair from the oxygen okay then form another bond here so there are two four six seven electron around nitrogen okay so inilah structure untuk NO2 kita okay next one adalah untuk ClO2 saya nak kamu cuba sendiri okay sebab kamu boleh draw ni okay draw dan kamu akan dapatlah tengok uh, keadaan yang odd macam ni okay Alright, so settle untuk odd number electron. Okay, next, expanded octet. Okay, so kalau expanded octet from the term expanded pun kita dah boleh bayangkan lah. That's mean this one might be more than 8 electron around the central atom lah. Okay, so in expanded octet, the central atom has more than 8 electron in its valence shell. Yes, sama macam kita bayangkan tadi. When expanding the octet, the central atom uses the empty d orbital available at its valence shell. Okay, so this is the reason. Okay, the reason why uh, element ni boleh under, boleh ada more than 8 electron around it. Sebab dia ada empty d orbital yang dia boleh accommodate the electrons. Okay, alright. So, ini kamu akan nampak lebih clear nanti masa dekat chapter hybridization nanti kita akan nampak dengan lebih clear lah ok alright uh, therefore expanding the octet can be done by element in period 3 and above ok so empty d orbital ni ok d orbital hanya wujud dekat element dalam period 3 and above ok so kenapa macam tu ingat lagi kita punya apa nama tu uh, electronic configuration ok so electronic configuration kalau untuk shell 1 ataupun period 1 dia ada 1s sahaja Okay, for period 2, dia hanya ada 2S and 2P sahaja. Tapi period 3, barulah ada 3S, 3P dan 3D. Baru ada 3D ni. Okay, so that's why for expanded octet, dia exclusive for element in period 3, 4, 5, C and 7 only. That's mean 3 and above. Okay, alright. So, atom without the empty d orbital such as element in period 2 will not be able to expand the octet. Okay, so uh, kalau elemen period 2, period 1, so tak boleh expand the octet lah. Okay, uh, ini contoh-contoh elemen dia lah. Okay, sebab 2D tu tak wujud. Okay, so dalam kita afbar pun kita tengok mana ada 2D orbital. Kita ada 2S and 2P only. Okay, so let us look at the first example. Okay, which is SFC. Okay, so SFC, this is the electronic configuration for SFC in form of orbital diagram lah, dalam bentuk orbital diagram. So, dekat sini, dia ada 3P4 and then dia ada 3D yang kosong. Okay, empty 3D orbital. Bila dia ada empty 3D orbital, okay, electron at the 3S can be excited to 3D. Yang 3P yang pairing ni pun boleh excited to 3D. Okay, so and up nanti kita akan ada 1, uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 unpaired electron. Okay, so bila we, kita ada 6 unpaired electron, that's mean we can form 6 bond. Okay, so that's why around sulfur ada maximum 6 bond sahaja. Okay, alright, so central atom S can contain 12 valence electron due to the presence of empty D orbital. Okay, okay. Uh, so itu untuk sulfur lah. Okay, kalau kita tengok phosphorus pula, dia boleh expanded octet juga. Tapi dia punya maximum electron around phosphorus hanya 10 electron je. Which is equal to 5 bond sahaja. Okay, sebab apa 10 electron? Sebab ini kamu tengok dekat sini. Okay, so 3S yang ada pasangan dia ni, electron yang ada pasangan ni yang kita boleh excited pergi ke 3D. So, bila kita excited, ini hilang lah tinggal satu elektron dalam ni. Ada elektron yang dekat sini. So, total we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
Okay, kita ada 5 unpaired electron. Okay, and that 5 unpaired electron can form 5 bond. Okay, so 5 bond that's mean 10 electrons around phosphorus. Okay, so don't worry about uh, excited electron ni. Ini just to give you uh, gambaran ringkas lah macam mana. Kenapa uh, phosphorus dengan sulfur dua-dua boleh spend octet. Tapi kenapa sulfur boleh 12? Kenapa phosphorus 10? Okay, tapi nanti kita akan belajar ni dengan lebih detail dekat chapter hybridization. Okay, 4.3 ke 4.4 tak silap saya. Okay, so don't worry about this. Just remember element in period 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 boleh expand the octet. Okay, but they have the limit lah. Okay, such as sulfur maximum dia adalah uh, 12 electron around it. Phosphorus maximum dia 10 electron sahaja around it. Okay, alright. So I think that's all for this video. Okay, sebab this video just nak ajar mengenai exception to octet rule okay so thank you bye bye